Padres and Giants at AT&T. Tim Lincecum is about as good as he's been this season. Bases loaded, top three. Nick Hundley coming off a four-hit game last night. Sack fly this time. Will Venable comes in. Padres take a one nothing lead. Anthony Bass going for the Padres. He was good in the third inning. Puts down Tim Lincecum. The fourth, it's Melky Cabrera. Then in the fifth, Buster Posey. Eight strikeouts on the day for Bass. In fact, Bass perfect through five and two-thirds, but Lincecum able to break it up with the infield single to shortstop. So... That's the Giants' first base runner. Going down to the bottom of the seventh inning. Two on, two down for Brandon Belt. And he's done it. Into the gap. He may have done more. It's going through to the wall. Cabrera has scored. And here comes Shoreholtz. Here comes the throw. Tony. And the Giants have gone ahead. The double by Belt as he gets back safely to second. And it's two to one Giants. To the key blow there for Brandon Belt to the top of the eighth. Lincecum. That's all he needed, a couple of runs, and puts down Chase Headley. Nick Hundley then grounds to third. Pablo Sandoval makes the throw. Eight innings from Lincecum. He gives up an unearned run on three hits, strikes out five. Bottom of the inning, Pablo Sandoval looking to continue his hitting streak to start the season, but that will end at 20 games. So the Giants clinging to a one-run lead. Ninth inning, Santiago Casilla on to close it. Casilla. And the ball game is over. The comebacker, and it wasn't easy. <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> it scared everybody in this ballpark. Third save of the year for Casilla. Second win for Lincecum in his first quality start. As for Pablo's hitting streak, it ends as the longest in Giants history to start a season. Overall, it's the longest to start a year since Edgar Renteria hit in the first 23 games for the Braves back in 2006.